In the month of September alone, they racked up over $15 million in new land compensation commitments. Amazing. Simply amazing. And in that month, they did something that I thought was unthinkable. On September 25th of 2020, the then government entered into a contract to pay a lady by the name of Barbara Harris Ware $6,067,000 for 26 acres of land in the Belama era. Pure mangrove for $6 million. The government then proceeds to subdivide the land into five big parcels and further attempt to subdivide these lands into 130 house lots. But elections was fast approaching and time was running out. So the fellas over there, instead of issuing the lots to 130 individuals, mm. or leaving the land to distribute for whoever emerges as the victorious party, decide to sell the $6 million land to a former UDP senator and campaign manager for the member of Collect. Not for $6 million, or $5 million, or $4 million, or three, or two, or $1 million. Those 26 acres of land that the government paid, 26, um, paid $6 million for was sold for $26,000. And they weren't done there. The original parcel of land earned, owned by Mrs. Weir comprised 39.49 acres of land. Government bought 26 acres of that land and then gave her title for the remaining 13.49 acres as part of the settlement agreement. She got her title November 5th of 2020. But the following day, November 6, 2020, the Lands Department issued a purchase approval for the same 13.49 acres to one Roosevelt Blades. So it's not bad enough that Mr. Blades got an opportunity to buy the $6 million land for not $26,000 but $33,000, the 26 acres of Belama land. He had to get the other 13 acres for which the lady had already gotten title. It's insanity on stilts. But there's a saving grace when I'm speaker because Mr. Blades never did complete the payments for the six parcels of land that comprised the 26 acres and 13.49 acres. He only paid about $7,500 of the purchase price. So, Madam Speaker, Mr. Blades can come back for his money. Or someone over there can pick up the money for him.